Welcome back to the next episode of What's in My Garage. And if you can see behind me, the RT65 Max has arrived. And we will do a Doug DeMiro-esque type review of this machine going in the later uh, following days. And But first, I want to show you the mod, the very first mod I do with the new machine, and that's putting in a retractable seat belt. So we'll just take you around to the interior, and I'm going to show you how to uh, quickly install one of those uh, right now. Okay, so... The machine originally comes with the lap belt. Uh, I'm sure you're all familiar with that if you guys own, owned a, an ASV machine before. And what I do, I, I ordered the one from my original machine which came with a uh, retractable seat belt and that was in the 2008 PT60. Well, for whatever reason, ASV's decided not to include that. So here's a part number for you, 0304-248. And again, out of a 2008 uh, PT60 and that'll be basically the same seat belt uh, that's going to be uh, retractable and here it is installed uh, very simple mod uh, so here it is it's retractable let me just make this wider there we go so it's retractable goes across again it's a must-have for me I mean how many times do you get into this machine and you've got this stuck up your butt I hate that feeling. Well, and I'm sure you would too. Anyhow, simple mod. Uh, all I had to do is on this, I just chose to put it on, on, on this side uh, versus this side because there's the fuse box right here. And there's not much clearance for the part that has the retractable gear in it. Uh, it would be sticking out a little bit more here. So uh, I chose to put it on this side. Now there was a little bit of a, a some kind of a bracket for a tray or something. Um, and I removed that. It was just three plastic rivets with a screw and it can be put back in later. Um, but uh, to do that, to make this real easy, you pull the seat all the way forward, uh, lifting up on this and pulling it all the way forward. And you just take out, there's two T25 Torx, one here and one just up at the front here. You can't see it, but it's there. You take those two out you slide this forward to get it to come out of this lip. So you're sliding it forward and then lifting it out. And then that gives you uh, ample room to pull the bolt out uh, on the seat belt and put this uh, seat belt on. And then uh, I also, if, I'll just pull this back, but I also did a little modification to the plastic while it was out. I just uh, took a marker and I, I just notched it just because when you're bouncing on the seat, there is a little bit of uh, uh, the pieces, a little bit of on an angle, and it can tap the plastic. So instead of hearing that, when you hit a bump, I just made some clearance for it, that's all. It's no different than uh, just putting a notch in here. So you may not want to do that. I mean, you, you have to determine if you can live with the noise, but that's what I did, and I'm happy with that. And I'm going to leave that out to the... Uh, the tree pink thing. I'll just put it aside and put it in when I'm done with the machine. Okay. That's the uh, retractable seatbelt mod for the uh, RT65 Max series and I'm sure it uh, works for other any basically any ASV machine with the same seat or similar seat. I, I've used them on other seats as well uh, right back. I did the mod to a uh, 2017 uh, RT60 and Speaking of those other machines, we'll do some comparison videos of the earlier machines that I have uh, versus this new machine. We'll see how this new machine stands up in relation to their predecessors. So stay tuned. There's a lot more videos coming in the upcoming months. And uh, uh, please like and uh, don't hesitate to comment. Uh, give a like, subscribe, uh, hit the notification button. All that matters. Uh, I'd love to give you more content. It's just something I like to do is uh, work on these ASV machines. And if you want to know anything about these machines, whether you're going to buy one or if you have one and you just need some more tips for uh, things that I have. So anyhow, I've done it. I've dealt with it, pretty much every issue on these machines. Um, so again, please like and subscribe and thank you for watching the video.